It appears I must fulfill my duties as a gym leader in this world before I return home. Very well. Let us begin, Isaac. No holding back. Let's do this. Let's duel. Hello everybody, what is going on today is Kibish Maggie here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Dark Rising. Last time, we made way through the Spirit Tower, collected a bunch of items, met at him at the top, and weakened Giratina to allow him to capture it. This time, after clearing out all the gym trainers and answering the quizzes, of course, we can now tackle a Tem. I've tried this battle a few times already, and I've been very, very unfortunate in my attempts. Here's hoping I can manage better. He begins with a Spiritomb level 94 Ghost Dark type, I believe pressure for the ability, armed with the moves of Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, Confuse Ray, and possibly will o -Wiz. I cannot tell you the amount of times where I have been completely screwed by unfortunate mishaps and luck, where he used Dark Pulse and I was critted twice. Um, I couldn't do enough damage to KO the Spiritomb, and so it obliterated me. And of course, I got to visit the second Pokemon, the one that destroyed us last time, the Giratina, and I couldn't even damage it. I'm not sure what my best options are, but I'm going to give it an honest shot and hope that I can KO it enough or deal enough damage and not have to worry about it too much. Down it goes, and next up is the Giratina. I don't know what to use against this thing. I don't know if I should have leveled up. I didn't want to because I didn't feel it was necessary. You have good special attack, but the only good move is Ice Punch, maybe. I don't know. Gear... I'll go with Gengar. I'll chance Gengar. I think Gengar can do decent damage. Maybe not a lot, but decent damage. Giratina is level 97. It somehow lost the level from being caught. Uh, Ghost Dragon type. I think pressure for the ability or something else. I'm not quite sure. That did okay damage. Armed with moves Shadow Claw, Calm Mind, Rest, Dragon Pulse. This thing is a big big threat and it's a giant nuisance no matter what. It hits incredibly hard, it is not the fastest but it has loads of HP and a good amount of bulk to it. It is a giant pain to fight and my god, not only does it come equipped with the leftovers, but it is just overall a giant nuisance. I haven't been able to make it past this thing. I don't want to level up because I feel I don't need to. We'll just see what happens and hope that I can deal enough damage without having to worry about him KOing me or, or completely obliterating me. I don't know. We'll see. Salamence goes down, unfortunately. And now I'm down to Pokemon. Slacking? I, I don't know. I can hope that Night Slash does good damage, but we'll find out. Because I know that I could have gotten the Weevil, but Weevil does nothing. Night Slash, you have a really high attack stat. Please. It was enough. No! Oh my god! You are the stupid rest, bro! Oh my gosh, it has so much freaking health. It's got so much health and it's so, so annoying. This thing does not faint. It does not go down. It has Calm Mind, so it, it hits even harder. And oh my gosh, can it just be brutal. If you don't take it down fast enough, if you don't deal enough damage as quickly as you can, it can rack up a lot of stat buffs and just, just wipe you out. As you guys saw at the end of last episode. I, I don't know what to do. And it's starting... Gosh, I, I could use a crit right now, but I don't know. Oh, there's a crit right there at least. Okay, I got it to half. 
It's not going to change much, but I'll take it. Dragon Pulse is fine. Slacking can tank a good bit of damage. I was going to say, unless he crits me in return, then I can't do much else about it. Please hit me again. Please hit me again. Slacking can't do anything, but please hit me again. Thank you. I'm fine with that. Okay. Uh, Salamence. Even though it probably won't do much, I'll chance it. I need the damage. You probably hit the hardest, second hardest against this thing. They really, they really wanted to put it against you towards the end of the game. They, they gave you a tough boss fight one after another, and they're just making it rougher and rougher. He's got one calm mind up with the Dragon Pulse. I think this might heal. Weevil, you, you. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I'm going to use my max revive. I've held off on it for situations where I feel I need it, and this is a definite situation where I feel I need it. That's fine. KO Weevil. This is expected. It's lit. Uh, Ice Punch? I don't know. Give it a shot. Why not? Just see if you do good enough damage. Okay, that's fine. You keep it at fairly low. Shadow Claw again. Weevil, you, you did what I asked you to. I'll take it. Come back out, Salamence. I, I don't care. I will abuse every bit of my power against this thing, because it is, it is brutal, and it is ruthless, and it is... Uh, it's not it. It is not fun. Dragon Pulse again. Die! Go down, please. Thank you! Finally, we can move on. 5,000 experience. I damn deserve that experience. <sighs> Next up is Dust Noir. I can only keep Salamence in. Dust Noir is level 94. Pure ghost type. Pressure as well for the ability. Probably armed with Shadow Claw or uh, Shadow Ball, uh, Dark Pulse, Destiny Bond, Rocks. Uh, uh, Will-O-Wisp, Confuse Ray, Earthquake, um, I don't know, there's just a bunch of ones I can think of. I don't know if I should use it. Okay, so you don't have pressure. I don't know if Earthquake will hit. I'm gonna go with Dragon Balls. I get more of a boost out of it. I don't know if, uh, Dragon Dance affects it. Dragon De Dance should, but I could be entirely wrong. I'll take that crit. That rock side's gonna hurt a lot, but I don't think it'll KO because Dustor is not physically. Yep, it's not meant to be a physical attacker. It's just meant to uh, tank damage. It has a leftovers equipped, so it's definitely meant to just be one giant annoyance. Thank goodness he's not healing. Thank goodness I didn't chance a dragon dance. It is down, it is out. We move on. <sighs> Moving forward, it is. Sableye, level 93, another ghost dark type, meaning it has no weakness. Probably armed with the moves, uh, spikes or toxic spikes, stealth rocks, uh, dragon, or dark pulse, recover, shadow claw, confuse ray, ice punch. Wow. Cool, okay. That's fine. Ball Corona. <laughs> Holding a leftovers. I think every single one of his members might have a leftovers. I could be entirely wrong though. Uh, signal beam. I think it's more guaranteed to hit. Please do enough damage. Level 93. A crit. It was guaranteed to KO. I'll take it. We move. Going forward. Next up is Kafa Grigas. We're almost done. Kafagrigus is level 95, another pure ghost type. Probably are uh, probably holding a lot of covers as well, no doubt. Uh, armed with moves, probably Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, Will O Wisp, Psychic, uh, Shadow Claw, Dark Pulse. This is just about the same one you'd expect. Let's try using Heat Wave, see if that'll do a good amount of damage. I know Kafagrigus has a lot of defense and special defense, so try to use. Okay, whatever. 
I know it can be a bit of a pain. I'm not sure what an ability would have. Levitate, maybe? Um, doesn't matter. It goes down. Volcarona, Volcarona pulls through. It's level 92. And the final one up is Chandelure. As bad of a matchup as this is, I think Musharna can do better. Oh, excuse me. Chandelure is level 90. Five, ghost fire type uh, flame body or flash fire for the ability probably arm moves you know, fire blast flamethrower uh, overheat um, psychic dark pulse whoa okay uh, calm mind uh, shadow ball shadow claw no actually I can't use shadow claw that. it doesn't actually have any claw or anything like that um I don't know what else okay Sharna, you, you did you did your job. You did your duty. I'll, I'll take what I can get. That's fine. Um, Weevil, we'll go with you. We'll have you wrap this up. <sighs> Thank goodness for Salamence, dude. Salamence came through when I needed it. I'll take it. We we will move with this because my gosh, this battle. I have just been obscenely unlucky, and now we can get through. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Come on, man! Weevil! You really couldn't KO it? Fine. Volcarona. Wrap it up. You know what to do. Hit it with Psychic, I guess. That did pretty good damage, and it lowered your special defense. I will fucking take that. Uh, Psychic again. Why not? It does good damage. You lowered your special defense. You're not going to be taking a lot. It's done. It's over. Finally. My gosh. You win, Isaac. It was an honor to battle you. You have earned the spirit badge. Thank you. It's off. It heightens the special attack of all your Pokemon. Take this as well. TM38, which contains Fire Blast. Don't waste it on a water Pokemon. Shut up. Get on my face. I'm done. I move. I run away. I go to heal. I need it badly. My gosh. Tari, you got anything to say? You did it. Yeah. Ugh. Sydney, what are you... Do you want the police to catch us? Come with me. Wait, what? She's speaking the truth. Police are after us. Yes, that includes- Again? Oh, come on! We'll take the Kecleon. <laughs> the game is free. Uh, you love to see it glitch a little. Yeah, 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 I already went through all of this. Okay, um... Yeah, for some reason, it'll just, it'll break a little, it's fine. Let's just go and talk with Florina. We hand over the sapphire to her. So this is the gem that forms a pair of the ruby. Isaac, you've gone through a lot to get this, didn't you? You don't have to tell me, I know it wasn't easy. Thank you so much. Now it's my turn to work hard. Please give me a little time. Slot them in. And? The machine worked. It did it. We managed to black out the mind control powers of Darugus. Finally, the network machine is fully operational. I owe it all to you. Thanks to you, people are okay. I'm not crying. It's enough about me. Isaac, you're going to keep looking for exotic Pokemon, right? Wish you the best of luck. Who would have thought we'd be here? Sounds unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back here. <laughs> <laughs> mistakenly, well not mistakenly, it's kind of intended for us to return here, but yeah, we're back on the uh, the Pokemon, uh, the Dark Rising HQ. There isn't much new, there isn't much different, you can at least access those and get the, the your moves up and everything if you don't choose, you yeah, can't take that path, so we're forced to go back to Huntic Route, go back to that cave, and continue uh, back to the main story. 
that, I think. I don't have it equipped. Alright, well, let me get let me get on the bike. We've never used the bike before. We haven't used it, heard its theme. I don't know if felt a reason to. But now we can. Turn here. Move! Just like that. Find ourselves back where we need to be. Now I'm going to click that. Seven badges. Only one more remaining. Oh my gosh. But yeah. We went through all of that, and now we are on Trident Waters. This, I believe, if we were to check our map, it is just north of um, Millennium City. Yeah. So, we can definitely go back if we uh, so need to or so choose, though we have no point in uh, doing that. Let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know really what's the right direction. All I know is we do need Surf. We do have Surf, so we can see. Um, 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 uh, we need to go south, it seems. At least that's the route that it's recommending me. You need to hear the beautiful water theme. And of course, being within Trident Waters... Oh, never mind, okay. Um, there are a few new Pokemon to encounter. Uh, I want to try to avoid it, any fights that I can. I, I don't really feel like fighting, if I'm being honest. Yep. Boom. We can actually return back to Millennium City, if we so choose. Instead, I say we go north. Go back onto Trident Waters, avoid any fights if possible. I don't really want to brawl. I want to make some story progression this time around. Ignore all of you. I'll fight you all on my own time. We have that weird portion. Oh, get back it. one. So that seems like a giant cutoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did not mean to do that. Give me the max repel. Thank you. Um, there you go. Sorry, uh, to to check something real quick. Yeah, so that'll push us directly onto that island, so we can't go that way. But if we move, we find ourselves in this dark spot. There we go. We want to try and navigate here carefully because there is kind of a set path to take. We just need to kind of make sure we look closely as we navigate it. This one is the alternate. Okay, cool. That traps us. Nothing there. Uh, that's all dead ends. Careful. Boom! There we go. <sighs> After all that running, we find ourselves at this little island. Can't go very far in it, so uh, I guess we enter. Poseidon's Cave. I didn't go over the Pokemon you can find within uh, Trident Waters. That's because it's just a lot of fairly similar Pokemon we've been over. Uh, but to briefly say, Swanna and Floatzilla are your most common. Slowbro, Slowking, Electros, and Crawdont are next. Poliwrath, Politoads, and Gyaradoses are last. Uh, you can also find some Sharpedos, Tentacruels, Lapras, Walrains, and Kingdras. And by using your fishing rod, you can find Sharpedos, Tentacruels, Gastrodonts, Starmies, Walrains, Crawdonts, Jellicents, Gyaradoses, Milotics, and Kingdras. Of course, as you can guess, probably within uh, Poseidon's cave, we can find a lot of water types. And I will not lie to you, it is a giant convoluted puzzle. Yep, we have to navigate ourselves through this place while being completely lost. There's a lot of trainers you can fight in here by going into the various rooms, but the way that this area is supposed to work is, um, if you do recall the, I forget what the cave is called, but the cave back uh, in Kanto, Fire Red and Leaf Green, um, near the end of uh, one of the islands. Um, it basically operates as in you have to go in the direction that matches the amount of rocks in the room. Uh, you kind of have to read it like a clock, if that makes sense. So considering there are three rocks in the room, you have to take the rightmost path. And things like that. That's the simplest way to put it. So there's one, two, three rocks. So if we go to the right, boom, there's three, four, five, six, 9, 10, 11, 12, so we go north. And I believe every path that we take, we kind of also want to go the opposite. We go up 
yeah, because there are items you could find strung about. So this is uh, telling us we have to go to the right, but if we go left, we can find the various items. So right, uh, we know this is 12, so if we go to 6, boom, another item. We have a lot to find, a lot to uncover, and a lot to do here. We're going to be stuck for quite a while. So for now, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you all continue to enjoy, of course. And I guess I'll just briefly say it. A bunch of water types. The Pokemon you found previously, you can find here. So just make a note of that. I hope you guys did enjoy, though. I hope you all continue to enjoy. And I will be seeing all of you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.